G'day guys, uh, the Mad Adderia. Uh, just gonna bring you a little beer review um, of just a, any interesting beers that I might get from time to time. I uh, generally do my shopping at the Page Butler, the local bottle shop. Um, I'll chuck a link in the description. So if you're a Canberra local, you'll be able to find them. Uh, recently, it's been Christmas season. They uh, do a little beer event calendar style cube of 16 beers. So you start it on the 11th of December and you finish it off on the 26th on Boxing Day, just in time for the cricket. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll do the, uh, the first beer off the, uh, the rank and uh, I think it's gonna be a cracker. So today, today we have uh, from Toplin Goliath Brewing Company, the uh, Pseudo Sioux Pale Ale. As you can see, they've put a little number one on there, so you know it's the first one to drink. Um, so this one, a little bit about it, I guess, uh, says it's a single hop pale ale, which really showcases the citra hop for a well-balanced beer that is delicate in body with a mild bitterness in the finish. Uh, ferocious hop aromas of citrus and mango give a refreshing taste that is bright with just enough bite. Just enough bite. I'm expecting a bit more bite with a can looking like that. Um, look, I've had some of their beers before and they they don't disappoint. Um, generally good, full bodied, full flavored beers. And what are we looking at with this one? We're looking, if I could uh, read, it's a pint. 2.3 standard drinks. I think it's 5.2% alcohol. All right, so we'll start with the pour. Get rid of this sticker. Love that sound. Straight out of the can, it smells really good. It smells fruity. It smells like it's got those, that mango that they talk about on the tin, so you love, you love to see it. Oh, even out of the can, that's pretty decent. Loving the colour. And dripping it on the uh, cheese board here. Alright, 1-800, rate my pour. Not bad, I reckon. Look, it looks good. Nice and hazy. There's a fair bit of set sediment flooding around in there as well, so probably need to roll the can a few times before uh, you pour. Um, might help, might not. Don't know. All right, so uh, let's have, have a taste out of the glass. Again, mango aroma. It, it says it on the tin, mate. It, it uh, so far hasn't let me down. See how she goes. I mean, that's fresh. Tastes very fresh. It's very, um, very hoppy, very, uh, very, it is very citrusy, very mango. More of a citrus to the flavor, more of a mango to the aroma. It really goes well together. Um, what would I give it out of five? I usually rate everything on, on, on the uh, beer app untapped. It's going to get somewhere between 3.75 and 4.25 uh, out of 5. You can't get a 4 and above with any of the beers I rate. <laughs> if I'm like, it's alright, but I wouldn't buy it again. I really need to want to buy it again if I see it um, to get above a 4. So it's that 80% pass mark. Uh, that's pretty good. It, it does have a real bitter aftertaste. I don't know if that's something I've eaten earlier that's still lingering on my palate, but it 
Yeah, no, that's good. I think I'm going to give that... Oh. I might just give that a, a 3.75. To be honest, I think there's a lot of beers... A lot of beers out there for the price range, the ABV. Um, if this is the sort of thing you're after, I think there's a lot of beers out there that are probably a little bit better. But... <clears throat> first can off the block for the Page Bottler. Fuck off, bug. Page Bottler uh, Beer Vent Cube. Yeah, it's not, not a bad start to things, I reckon. All right, well, you all enjoy yourselves and uh, cheers.